So now we've seen how to write down the Lagrangian for a couple of physical systems, let's have a bit more of a look at what makes the Lagrangian so special and so useful. So the Lagrangian, as we've said many times now, is defined by the kinetic energy minus the potential energy. So this is a bit different from the way that we ordinarily think about our equations of motion. Ordinarily, our equations of motion start with the position, the velocity, the acceleration. And in general, we use our Cartesian coordinates. So that's our x direction and our y direction. However, if we consider a system such as a pendulum, we can see that x and y, while we can of course describe its motion in terms of its x and y coordinates, it gets a little bit messy. So a more natural system for a pendulum is to think, well, I'm always a distance l, length of the string away from my origin, and really it's just the angle um, to the vertical that changes. So instead of thinking about the motion of this in terms of x and y coordinates, we can think about it just in terms of how the angle is changing um, to the vertical. So that's the great thing about Lagrangian mechanics. If we were to try to do this using Newtonian mechanics, we would have to mess with the equations of motion a lot, our derivatives get messy, it just becomes a little bit too much. However, with Lagrangian mechanics, because we are just looking at the kinetic energy and the potential energy, it becomes much simpler. We simply convert our kinetic energy into something involving the angle using trigonometry. Uh, you can see this is our x and this is our y. Then we just use trigonometry for, uh, as well as this hypotenuse to substitute in for our x and y components. Uh, and then it's a simple matter of just formulating the Lagrangian uh, and solving it, which we'll be doing next.